Nothing could have been more relaxed that Tuesday afternoon. The 5th were settled in. More supply ships had arrived in the estuary next to us, bringing in more men and more weapons for them to use. Men even took time off to fish for a change of diet. But then came the attack. The Skyhawks came in to attack and were out again with our gunfire chasing them too late. So sudden, so unannounced, we knew nothing until we saw the black smoke billowing out of the landing ship, Sir Galahad, and then the first signs of a fire aboard St. Tristram nearby. The attack happened so fast, there wasn't even time to think of taking cover. And as the ships were hit, many men aboard hadn't even time to pull on their anti-burn masks to save themselves from the heat flash as the bombs exploded. The two landing ships, Sir Galahad and Sir Tristram, were bombed within 200 yards of each other as they were unloading supplies of ammunition and of men. They were in a narrow estuary at Fitzroy, leading off from Bluff Cove. The men had come to join the rest of their brigade here at Fitzroy, only seven miles from Stanley. Sir Galahad had anchored only a few hours before, and the men were waiting for landing craft to come and get them. One hour later, and most of the men would have been safely ashore in their trenches. Our air defense missile, which most Argentine pilots respect, had come off the ships in the morning, but was still being set up on the hillside overlooking the estuary. Had the Argentine planes come just that one hour later, rapier would have been ready for them. The bombs hit Sir Galahad aft through the engine room and accommodation sections. I watched from the shore less than 400 yards away and felt the impact on the ground below me as the hold full of ammunition exploded.